वेलकम माय डियर चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू क्लास थ्री ईवीएस लेसन मेकिंग पॉट्स Once there was a sparrow called Putgudi and a crow called Panate. They were fast friends. One day, Panate said, "Oh, Putgudi, if you lay eggs first, then I will eat them, and if I lay eggs first, then you can eat them." Putgudi agreed. A few days later. Put Goody laid an egg. Banana said, "Give me your egg. I will eat it. Give me your egg. I would like to eat it. Give it. Give it." Put Goody was scared. She said, "Yes, but I want you to first go and wash your beak in the river." Banana went to the river bank and said to it. Oh river, oh river! Yes, brother," said the river. "Oh river, please give me some water. With cold water, I will wash my beak. Eating the egg is what I seek." The river said, "But how will you fill water? Get a pot." Banat went to the potter and said, "Oh potter, oh potter, please give me a pot." In the pot, I will get water from the river. With cold water, I will wash my beak. Eating the egg is what I seek. The potter asked Banat for some clay. Banat went to the clay pit and said. The potter will make a pot for me. I will fill water in the pot. With cold water, I will wash my beak. Eating the egg is what I seek. The clay pit said, "But how do I dig the soil? Get me a shovel from the blacksmith." The native went to the blacksmith and said to him, "Oh, blacksmith." Oh, blacksmith! The blacksmith said, "Yes, brother Banate. What do you want? Please give me a towel. Please give me a towel," said Banate. The clay pot will dig out clay for me with the towel. I will get a pot made and get water in it. With cold water, I will wash my beak. Eating the egg is what I seek. The blacksmith said, "Sure, sure, okay. You can take the towel, but do remember to return it." To the natty took the towel and went to the clay pit. It dug the soil and got some clay. Took the clay and went to the potter. The potter made a pot for him. The natty went to the river. The natty filled water in the pot and washed its beak. He then ran to eat put goodies egg. By that time, the sparrow's egg hatched. A little bird came out of it and flew away, far away from Banate. Why did the crow need a pot? The crow needed a pot to fill water and wash his beak. Making pots. Let's learn 
about pottery. What is pottery? Pottery is the process of forming vessels and other objects with clay and other ceramic materials which are fired at high temperatures to give them a hard durable form. Clay based pottery can be divided into three main groups earthenware, stoneware and porcelain. The place where such Things are made by a potter is called as pottery. Look at the pictures of few earthen wave, stone wave, porcelain, earthen wave. Earthen wave is clay fired at relatively low temperatures of between 1000 to 1150 degrees. Stone wave. Stone wave is made from a particular clay which is fired at a higher temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. Porcelain. Porcelain comes from a refined clay which is fired at very high temperatures of approximately 1200 to 1450 degrees The main points of comparison between earthenware, stoneware and porcelain will be the temperature. It is the temperature at which the clay is fired. Remember, it's the temperature at which the clay is fired and the resulting strength, water resistant and durability, how long it stays of the finished products. There are three basic types of soil, sand, silt and clay. Sand, they are the largest type of soil, soil particles where each particle is visible to naked eye. We can see each particle in the sand. Silt is a soil material with an intermediate size between sand and clay. It's not so big as sand or it's not so very minute as clay. Remember, when it becomes a smooth mud, you can form easily into balls or other shapes in your hand. Now, remember, this is the very important part to know about pottery, that is clay. We make pots using clay. Clay particles are the smoothest, finest of all the soil particles. They stick together readily and form sticky or gluey texture when they are wet or dry. Before we start with the steps involved in making pots, let us glance at 
some of the tools used in pottery. A sponge. A sponge is used to wet the pot with water. To smooth the edges, that is, the rim of pots, a piece of chamois leather is used. When making plates or shallow bowls, a wooden rib is used for smoothing the base. Pin tools are great for cutting the tops from wobby pots. This is cut-off wire. This cut-off wire is needed to remove the pot after it is completed. The wire is usually nylon or metal with wooden toggles at each end to grab hold of, to hold it tightly. A throwing stick can clean up the outside of the pots and make an undercut bevel at the base. This will help for cutting the pot from the wheel easier. A trimming tool is used to refine the shape when the clay has firmed up. The first step involved in making pots is preparing the clay. Center the clay on the wheel. Potter wets his hands often. Hands need to be wet while making pots. If hands are not wet, the clay will stick to hands. Smooth rim with chamoy. Clean bottom with wooden tool. Hold the cutting wire as shown. And push the wire as shown. And separate the finished pot from the wheel. Pieces can be trimmed on the wheel or by hand. A wooden tool can be used to trim to get a more refined look and feel. Tap the pot for the better or the perfect shape. Can decorate the pot if needed. Store pieces covered for one to two days. On average, a pot takes about three weeks to dry, depending upon its size. The pots are very soft at this stage, so they have to be loaded into the kiln very carefully. Fire and gaze. Fire and glaze the pot to finish it. Once finishing the shape of the pot, it has to be put in fire and glaze. This is required for making the pot waterproof 
and more durable. A glaze also creates an attractive glossy shiny finish on the pot. You will need to use a thread to do the initial firing and then apply the glaze and fire the pot again. Look at some of the beautiful pots. My dear children, are there any utensils? Are there utensils made of clay in your house? If so, write down the name of those utensils. What will happen if you store water in the clay pot made by you? Yes, if water is stored in the clay pot made by you or me, the pot will break. We often keep water in a clay pot at home or in the school. Why do these pots not get spoiled by the water? These pots do not get spoiled by water as they have been matured after baking in a kiln. Long, long ago, when people did not have any pots, what did those people do? Long, long ago, when people do not have such pots, they used wooden, bamboo or stone pots when they did not have any pots. Can you just think of why would people have made pots? What is the reason behind making the pots? Yes. People would have made pots to store water or store grains and to cook food. Can you tell who all helped the crow to make the pot? Yes. To make the pot, potter, clay pit, travel and blacksmith help the crow. Do you know how the clay pots are used. So far, you have learned how to make the clay pots, how clay pots are made. Let's see few uses of these clay pots in our day-to-day -day life. Clay pot refrigerator. The vegetables can be stored to keep fresh using the Pots. We call it as clay pot refrigerator. Can you see a beautiful clay pot candle heater? Dear ones, see here a clay pot oven. Clay pots can be used to make fermented food, to make the batter of idli dosa to make buttermilk then the leftover rice at night can be stored in the mud pot and used the next day. Dear ones, know something which is very interesting and convey it to your family members too. If you wish to make your meals less oily then clay pots 
are one of the best options because they require very less oil for cooking food. These pots take longer to heat and use a slower cooking process, helping to retain the natural moisture and natural oils present in the food. Drinking water stored in a clay pot will amaze you. Drinking water from a clay pot or matka has a lot of health benefits to offer. If you don't drink water from a clay or earthen pot, then you are missing out on all the health benefits it has to offer. And you know, cooking in mud pots is very tastier too. Reheating the food always leads to loss of nutrition. But if you cook in a clay pot, it retains the temperature for a longer time and no worries of reheating. Hence, there is no need to transfer it to a casserole or a hot box. There are few disadvantages also. As and when the temperature changes, they may be a crack. So, we have to very carefully handle the pots with proper temperature. The temperature can raise gradually only. Clay pots cannot be washed using soap or normal dishwashing detergent. The soap will soak into the clay and end up leaching into the next meal you cook in the pot. Instead, you need to clean a clay pot using hot water and a stiff brush. As the vessels break easily, cleaning these vessels is a tough job. Dear children, hope you enjoyed and learned about making pots. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.